should leaders be thinking about that is so needed and necessary from leaders that it's just gonna not only make their businesses and organizations better, but just make the world a better place? It's, um, it's hard to come up with just the one thing, but I'll, 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 I'll try, okay? okay. Um, I, may, I may bolt on a few things that, that, uh, that, that make a difference here. Um, first thing that comes to mind, um, I probably mentioned this earlier on, uh, not everything is a problem to be solved. Okay, so not everything is a problem to be solved. You've got to ask yourself, um, what's going to happen if that stitch, you know, the situation that you're, that you're seeing is, is problematic? just stays a problem a little bit longer right yep. and if you if you pause for that moment right and there may be a couple of moments if you pause for those moments you may just realize that it's something that will resolve itself right or you know more on a more personal level it may be that that problem is associated with someone who is going through something you know very difficult in that moment and and it's a people challenge and it's not a problem. So again, it's not a problem that needs to be solved. And in, in that instance, it may be a person that needs to be cared for, right? Mm -hmm. So if you just take that, take that moment, give yourself the grace, give others the grace to, to you know, benefit from that pause. Yeah. Yeah. Um, maybe a close second to that one. Um, impact over intent. I, I, mm -hmm. I learned I learned about this uh, just recently uh, from um, from one of my coaches uh, that you know, my my intention, like say in my communication, for example, and what I'm trying to uh, to inspire a team to move towards, my intention may be good, but if my delivery doesn't take into consideration how that message is going to land on them, how they're going to associate a sense of belonging to that vivid picture that I, of the future that I'm trying to build for them. Yeah. Um, that intent can be good, but the impact isn't there and a negative impact could drive them even further away from you know, trusting in this future that I'm trying to, trying to build for them. So um, impact over intent. Focus on the impact, not just, you know, my intent was good. So I love that because yep. you're also remind us just because we may hold a leadership title, yep. whether that's manager to CEO, doesn't mean that everyone should absolutely uh, trust us. That's right. And that we need to still continue to be thoughtful and earn that trust in the way sure. we interact. Trust must be earned every day. I've got a curveball question for you. Yeah, go for it. It's a, it's a big one. Okay. <laughs> Do you think it's easier or harder to live out those two mantras as a leader at work versus a parent at home? <laughs> far easier. I don't know. This is so easy for me. Work is far easier okay. than at home. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I think it's, I'm realizing more and more that this idea of compartmentalizing, and another one of my coaches has been, uh, has been teaching me this, that this idea of compartmentalizing work and, and home and family uh, is, is just, it's impossible, right? We're, we're humans. We don't have two separate brains, right? Um, we don't have two separate sets of emotions, right? So what I find is that there, it is, it is considerably easier to achieve the near impossible at work. Um, at home, I think there's such a, it's, there's such a sense of um, investment. So, I, you know, we've both got teenagers and to think about the, the every, every action, every thought, every decision, every comment, uh, either consciously or subconsciously is pinned to this 18 year, you know, loving relationship and investment that you've yeah. made in these, you know, in these amazing people that you want to be even more amazing than they are now, right? Or more amazing than, than you know, than, than I ever was uh, and I ever will be. And it introduces so many different emotions and thoughts that are counterproductive to actually helping people move forward and helping people benefit from leadership. So uh, I, I hope I, I, hope I answered I know, that question. No, absolutely. And that's yeah. when I was thinking too, because you're so emotionally invested at yeah. home as a parent. So it's a lot harder yeah. to step back and say, I'm not going to fix that. I want to fix that. I could fix that, but I'm just going to let them deal with the consequences, yes. for example. Or think about while my intent is good, I got to be really thoughtful about my delivery. Yeah. Both, both how, uh, yeah. but even when. And maybe even if yeah. I deliver that message. Yeah, I've got, a, I've got a hack for you on that one. 
okay. right? Something that, that, that's I'm, I'm been ready. helpful. Okay, so um, don't split people. Okay, so we just so explain, say more about explain that. what yeah, I mean. Don't yeah. split people. People are not um, either all good or all bad, mm. right? Don't seek to understand what a person's motives are uh, in a way that leads you down the path of making that assumption that, listen, they're never going to get it. They're never going to change, right? Hold out hope. Have hope yeah. that they're constantly evolving and then have have the belief in yourself, right? That That's you can, good. that you can, you can inspire them. You can activate them to become whatever the best version of themselves they want to be and they can be. 